time, a major announcement today from Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport. Yeah, MTN's Cody Boyer reports this is a game changer. Now the announcement brings JetBlue here for the first time in Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport history. And not only that, according to the director here, that increases their footprint across the entire nation. We're really batting above our average, so to speak. To Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport Director Brian Spranger, it's a hit over the fences. Any time that we can establish service to one of our top destinations, it's, it's just a really big deal for an airport. Spranger says the airport will now be connected nonstop summer and winter to New York's JFK Airport and Boston, two major hubs near the top of the airport's goal list. To do two of those destinations simultaneously is is extremely rare. The announcements come after an already positive year. To put it to perspective, the airport channeled 1.57 million passengers last year, an increase of about 17.3 percent from 2018, with increases seen over the three years before that. With the addition of JetBlue, Springer says that will keep gaining altitude. We're projecting our available seats to be more in the first nine months than all of 2019. And with two new stops come two new advantages. The airports ahead of us, immediately ahead of us, are Colorado Springs, Spokane, and Boise. Not one of those three airports has airline service to the New York area or Boston. And as Gallatin County grows in population, both the Bozeman Chamber of Commerce and Yellowstone clubs say this is a flight in the right direction. The community has all come together both down here in the valley and up on the mountain to make this happen. Again, all of these flights from JetBlue to Boston and New York begin in June. You can find more information on our website at the Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport. Cody Boyer, MTN News. And a final note, airport officials say it might be a few years before Boston would become a daily flight, and it might be at least a year before the airport sees an expansion like this again.